me our moniker. <laughs> equipment is fantastic isn't it I mean like the thing is it, it's, this is all fairly recent for me because for years I had to use those those big BBC cast iron microphones you know, like big victory V lozenges you know? <laughs> I remember they used to read the news and you could never see who it was you know? <laughs> the thing is when when the BBC got rid of them you know they sold a great big job lot to all the working man's clubs in this country and, and there's a technique in using them and no one's ever found it, you know, except the BBC. So that's why all working men's clubs might sound the same. Like, no, no, no. Sound negative. No, no, no. No, it's boy Mike, are they? Carl, I'll get you in there, Carl. I'll get you in there, Carl. Hot glasses are on sale of Ellen. Carl, I think. There's cheese rolls, ham rolls, casseroles, whistles, art rolls. on a gob in here, Imagine if rock groups had to use those great big cast iron BBC ones. Imagine Led Zeppelin, you know, da 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 da. Cocaine would be out, wouldn't it? Hey, anabolic steroids <laughs> <laughs> it's like music is music is amazing isn't it? and uh, he's, he's punk rock in or out does anybody know that it's, no it's, it's, it's these things come and go so quick don't they you know like and some people say it's in some people say it's out you know but the thing is like i mean if punk rocks out people are going to lose fortunes aren't they? i mean like like a mate of mine is a toy manufacturer, right? And he's got a warehouse full of Cindy dolls that vomit. <laughs> you want to see his action man? <laughs> gets on the bus <laughs> does the nutter sit next to you <laughs> the nutter always sits next to me do you? why is that why do i always get the nutter <laughs> the same as everyone else oh. like it happened the other day like i was on the top deck of the bus and <laughs> minding my own business <laughs> bus stopped you know a couple of people get on start off again. <laughs> then you could hear the nutter coming up the stairs <laughs> God, don't let the nutter sit next to me. I bought a watchtower, please. And everybody starts stretching out on the seats, don't they? Like, if 
I'm on the bus, no problem, they'll spot me. Woo! <laughs> Must have this aura above my head, not a lover, you know? <laughs> Is anyone seated? No, oh good! <laughs> you can hear the visible sighs of relief from everyone else on the bus. And... <laughs> Whoa! Got the <laughs> I thought I was in for that one, you know. <laughs> it's a camel job there, the word. <laughs> Nutters love showing you things, don't they? I've got an atom bomb here, you know. <laughs> it's a corned beef tin, you know. <laughs> Once you've got the nutter, everybody else can enjoy it then, can't they? <laughs> What's he got? He's got a corn beef tin! <laughs> Have you paid your fare? Yes, here are my tickets. Oh, good! Rip, 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 rip! <laughs> I love weddings! <laughs> and they never let you get off either, do they? Excuse me? No! <laughs> been three days on a bus with a nutter sometimes. <laughs> it's, that, it's that loser thing, isn't it? You know, I, I, I reckon everyone loses some way, you know, in their life. And like, you always find out when you're like, you know, basically in your early days, how you're going to lose through life. Like, I'm always a mug job. I said, my school days were tortured, all blue goldfish and, you know. Yeah, you know. Have you seen the blue goldfish? You know, no. And then they, well, it's in that bog down there. You go, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first time I ever played rugby, right? True story. And um, I moved from junior school to senior school. And when I moved, right, um, I was a football freak. But like the new school played rugby, right? And uh, didn't know anything about it at all. And uh, all the first formers were in the same boat because we'd all played uh, football like in the new school it was rugby and um we we're getting changed first sort of about second day we had to get changed for rugby we we're all in the dressing room getting changed and they're like and, and that was an event because you'd never you'd never have to change in front of anybody in the juniors did you i mean like you could wear your football shorts over your trousers couldn't you not so bad <laughs> And I was getting changed, you know, and a couple of prefects came in and they started wandering around, you know, and uh, they came up to me, you see. They said, uh, you played rugby before, mate? Mm, no, no, no. Ooh, turn off a rough sport, you know. Is it uh, blood, guts, gore? Mm. <laughs> you need plenty of protection. Have you brought any protection? No, no, no. I mean, you ought to be wearing a box. Have you got a box? <laughs> no. And they just happened to have one with them, didn't they? <laughs> well, they would do, wouldn't they? And they explained it all to me, you know, like, and I walked onto the rugby pitch. First time I'd ever played the game in front of all the first formers, the masters and the prefects. I've got this cricket box on my nose. <laughs> Perfectly logical to me. <laughs> Thought it smelt a bit, you know. <laughs> I thought, hello, I wonder where he's at his nose. Loser thing. I can never break the law either. That's a, well, I can. I always, uh, always get nicked. Like, you know, my library books are day overdue. Next morning, there's a ring of police around the house. Come on, carrot. We know you're in there. It's a mate of mine. He's a brummy Bernard. He's got a great saying. He's an all time loser. He's got a great saying. He's like, if I fell in a barrel of bosoms, I'd come out sucking my thumb. <laughs> 